If you are given a complicated number like this, there are several stages that you have to go through. You think, wait, this does not look as easy as just an x squared. It's got a 4 in front. This could be very complicated. But we also notice the 28 and 24. So it's really like saying 4 times 6 is this. 4 times 7 is this. So when you take the 4 out, it's really x squared plus 6x minus 7. From our previous idea, we have an x. So we know that there's going to be x times x. We know that 7 can be, well, it could be a plus 7 or a minus 7, right? Now, this is large, so I'm going to make it plus 7. If I go 7 times x, that's 7x. Negative 1 times x, negative 1. There's our 6x. This is wonderful. We found the answer. And we put the 4 on the outside. This is how you attack one of these complicated problems. You have to think, okay, what has to happen with these factors? We know it's 7 times 1, but the problem is, is it a negative 7 or a negative 1? We found out that because it's a positive 6, it has to be a large number with a positive 7.